From Olivia Swan leading the team of international agents, to Sean Sagar playing an NCIS agent from Down Under. NCIS Sydney's Aussie cast has been revealed. A woman is leading the team, and we're here for it. British actress Olivia Swan will be playing NCIS Special Agent Michelle Mackey. The NCIS Sydney team will be made up of US NCIS agents and the Australian Federal Police. So it's going to be an international team of crime fighters. We're pretty stoked that it's led by a woman of color. You might recognize Olivia Swan from DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which was her big break. I have to say, Swan's performance was pretty impressive. She brought so much depth and complexity to the character. You could see Astra's emotional journey and growth throughout the series, and she received so much praise from critics and fans. Olivia also had a guest star role in the popular British crime drama series, Silent Witness. She was also in a film called The Postcard Killings with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Famke Janssen. So we know that she's got the physicality and emotional depth to lead an NCIS team. Given the popularity of the franchise, I'm pretty sure she's about to become a household name in Australia. Another popular Aussie actor will take up the role of Mackie's second in command. Todd Lassance will be Sergeant Jim J.D. Dempsey of the Australian Federal Police, and he's going to bring the Aussie flavor to the show since he's already a household name. You know where he got his start? It was on the Australian soap opera Home and Away. Todd played the character Aidan Jeffries on the show from 2005 to 2010. He really made a name for himself with that role and won a Logie Award for Most Popular New Male Talent in 2006. That's a pretty big deal. But Todd didn't stop there. He decided to broaden his horizons and take on international projects. In 2012, he appeared in the hit American TV series, The Vampire Diaries as Julian. I remember his arc being pretty intense and having a big impact on the show. He was also in Spartacus War of the Damned. That series was full of action and drama, with Todd showing off his skills by playing Julius Caesar. He's also dabbled in film, having a role in a crime thriller called The Anomaly in 2014, and a war film called Firstborn in 2018. As you can tell, he's got the experience and the grit to take on this role in the NCIS universe. Joining Mackie and Dempsey on their scenic adventures on the Sydney Harbour will be Thule Narkel as AFP Liaison Officer Constable Evie Cooper. She's an award-winning Australian actress who started her career in theatre. Pretty neat, huh? She won the 2022 ACTA Award for Best Lead Actress in a Television Drama for her performance in Mystery Road Origin. That's a big achievement. Thule got her start in the theatre world when she appeared as Ruby in Stolen and then went on to be part of productions like Winyan Boga Yuringa in 2019 and Nakia Louis' Black is the New White. She then shifted gears toward television. In 2021, she played the lead role in ABC TV's All My Friends Are Racist. Then she had the opportunity to portray a younger version of Tasma Walton's character, Mary Swan, in Mystery Road Origin. That's actually a prequel season of the popular show Mystery Road. In 2023, Thule appeared in a project called Bad Behavior. Honestly, Australian television sounds wild. NCIS Sydney will be her first procedural drama, so that should be exciting. Narkel is a rising star, and this role will only cement her reputation as a fantastic actress. She was born in Western Australia and is of Aboriginal and Finnish descent. So I guess it's all about representation on NCIS Sydney and we know the show is going to be groundbreaking in more ways than one. It's the first ever international spin-off for NCIS. Filming started in Sydney in late 2022. The series revolves around rising tensions in the Indo-Pacific region and the creation of a multinational task force. It sounds like a high stakes and thrilling storyline. Rick Meyer, the head of drama at Paramount Australia and New Zealand, is pretty excited about the opportunity. It's one of the most popular TV franchises in the world, and this one is being produced by a top-notch production team. It's a pretty important project for Paramount, and they're really invested in it. In Australia, NCIS Sydney will be exclusive to Paramount Plus and Network 10. Sarah Richardson, the head of Scripted at Endemol Shine Australia, had some awesome things to say about the show. She spoke about how the heart of NCIS lies in its super charismatic and engaging characters that everyone falls in love with. And they found exactly that with their incredible cast. The team they've put together is tight and has amazing chemistry. 
But here's the best part. This international spin-off has all the DNA of the beloved franchise, but with an Australian twist. Yep, they've added that authentic Australian flavor to the mix. So get ready for a unique blend of classic NCIS elements infused with that special Aussie vibe. It's clear that Richardson is pumped about NCIS Sydney. She's excited about the captivating characters and the way they've brought the best of NCIS and made it their own with an Aussie touch. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see how it all comes together. It's going to be epic. Now let's get back to the rest of the cast with William McInnes as AFP forensic pathologist, Dr. Roy Penrose. He's a fantastic Australian actor, author, and TV presenter who's been around for a while and has done some pretty cool stuff. You might recognize him from the long-running TV series, Blue Healers, where he played senior constable Nick Schultz. That show was on air for over a decade and McInnes became quite popular for his down-to-earth and relatable character. But his talents aren't limited to the small screen. He's also appeared in some impressive films. Have you seen Look Both Ways or Unfinished Sky? McInnes showcased his acting chops in those movies, taking on both dramatic and comedic roles. And let's not forget Last Cap to Darwin, where he delivered another memorable performance. What's really interesting about McInnes is that he's not just an actor, he's also an accomplished author. The man has written several books, including memoirs, novels, and nonfiction works. His writing is often infused with his experiences growing up in Australia, and he explores themes of family love and everyday life. McInnes has also tried his hand at TV presenting. He's hosted shows like William McInnes Australia and William McInnes Fatherhood, so he's a big part of Aussie pop culture. But hold up. There's another fan favorite on the NCIS Sydney cast. We have Mavorni Hazel as AFP forensic scientist, Bluebird Blue Gleason. You might know her from the popular soap opera Neighbors. Mavorni joined the cast in 2014 and played the character of Piper Willis and totally rocked that role. Piper is this lively and independent character and Mavorni's portrayal was spot on. She quickly became a real favorite among the viewers. She also had some smaller roles on other Australian TV shows like Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries and House Husbands. But she's not just an actress. She's also a trained dancer. The girl's got some serious moves and has showcased her dancing skills in various stage productions. When she's not in front of the camera or on stage, Mavorni is pretty active on social media. I feel like her character is going to have this really cool, edgy but sweet vibe going for her, just like Polly Perrette's Abby Shuto on the original NCIS. Rounding off the main cast of NCIS Sydney, it's Sean Sager as NCIS Special Agent Deshaun Jackson. Interestingly, he's the only other NCIS agent on the team. The British actor is best known as Marco from Fate the Winx Saga, but you might recognize Sean from the hit British TV show Our Girl, where he played Private Jaden Monk Montgomery, which is all about a group of army medics doing their thing. He totally nailed that role and gained some serious recognition for it. But that's not all. Sean has appeared in other TV shows too. You might have seen him in The Gentleman Thief and Ackley Bridge, so he's really showing off his range as an actor, taking on different kinds of roles and working with some talented casts. Oh, and get this, Sean has also dipped his toes into the film world. In 2019, he was in a movie called Versus, a drama about a rapper trying to make it big in the music industry. While there's no release date for the show available yet, the cast has definitely got us interested. I think it's going to be a fun ride. So there you have it. From Sean Sager playing an NCIS agent from Down Under to Olivia Swan leading the team of international agents. That was NCIS Sydney's Aussie cast revealed.